to American foods, like it's a lot less sweet, <laughs> obviously because they're videos <laughs> but I mean we both did not like each other at first but that's how all the greatest friendships start your motto about life. Also, maybe advice on prepping yourself in the years leading up to junior and senior year when applying for colleges. You can go first. So for the first question, maybe cheesy and cliche, but a motto that I've definitely gone by. When I live my life is 
you never know what someone else is going through and that I've learned a lot through both myself of wishing others were more mindful of me and what they don't know about me as well as times when I haven't been considerate of others possible personal life that I don't know anything about so I think that we all owe each other a little bit of just a little bit of compassion I agree with all of that Plus, I feel like we all worry too much about what everyone else thinks of us, but we realize, like, as you get older, you kind of realize that nobody cares about what you're doing, so just live life, like, kind of considering, not, not like selfishly, but consider your own happiness, kind of put yourself first a little bit, just don't worry about what other people think of you, is the gist of it. well so that you can maintain like high GPA so that you can get into the school that you want to do but also don't overexert yourself because that's what a lot of people do and then they end up doing really badly in their classes and then they don't get to go to the college they want anyways so there's no point in taking a ton of hard classes that you can't handle if you're just going to get C's in all of them and I know that it's tempting to take a million AB classes to impress the college um, admissions, but I think you should invest also in extracurriculars yes. because those matter just as much. So here's the thing, a lot of, like, whenever, um, the admissions officers are, like, reading through your application, they know whenever you join an extracurricular just for college apps, like, do something that you're passionate about and don't just join, like, 80 random clubs. Do stuff that's related to your major if you can find it. Like, you have to be able to do it for, like, years. Like, don't join one club for one year and then, you know, join it for all throughout your high school. Because then they'll see you're dedicated. The next snack is called Sajima. I think, again, sorry if I butcher, by HFC. It's a traditional flower cake snack popularly enjoyed in East Asia. It's chewy in texture and sweet in taste. It kind of reminds you of a Rice Krispie tree. Oh, it's soft. It's very soft. It's not as crunchy as like a Rice Krispie is. It tastes like bananas. Is that just me? I don't know. I don't eat bananas often enough. Because <laughs> I don't like bananas. <laughs> Yourself. 
like little 
like meat. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs>
she looks like a girl boss, but I mean, some girls, you know, may, no, she's like the type to like be in charge in the relationship in general, but want the guy to completely dominate her. Frank Jones, he looks like fruity.
You knew people, but you weren't really friends with them in that class. Just try to become friends with people that you probably weren't friends with before so that you feel a little less tense and that you can kind of just forget about it a little bit. You just have to worry about you. Like, if they're talking badly about you, just you have to learn not to care about what people say and just focus on yourself. But because you know, like, you know it's not true. It mostly matters just what you think of yourself, not what other people think of you. I feel like, obviously, naturally, a fear of mine was that um, our mutual friends that we shared before our friendship ended thought badly of me. And, you know, being anxious about what people think of you is normal, but um, I think what I had to accept
I might go to Africa this summer cool. because my uncle and aunt live there, so that, oh my god, that picture looks so beautiful. It just looks beautiful. I love the architecture, like I love, like, domes and... Yeah, it just looks very, like, elegant, if that makes cool. sense.
like she said, like, it's a completely different maturity level, and 14 is, like, whenever you're finding yourself, like, you're learning what you like, you're learning what you don't like, and I think it opens up a lot of room for, like, manipulation, and, you know, dependency, like, the younger person becomes really dependent on the older person, I feel like, yeah. Next question is asked by It's definitely 
especially in high school, you have to deal with a lot of fake people because just everyone, they don't really know what they want and, you know, they feel, I feel like a lot of people just feel bad, like, being mean to your face so they'll just pretend to be nice and then talk bad about you in private, but I would just say, like, I mean, obviously, try to find friends that you think are more real, but that's a lot easier said than done, so I would probably advise against not, or against, like, confronting them because it can cause a lot of drama, but at the, at the same time, you want to stand up for yourself. I mean, they're totally, like, pooping on you. Yeah. 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 Um, Yeah. 
and yes. staying with them. Yes, that we should have associated ourselves with, but from the trauma <laughs> comes growth. So looking on the bright side here. But like otherwise, I'd say I'd also regret just caring too much about what other people think of me. I think starting this ASMR channel is really a huge leap for me because yeah. I just I think it's important to learn not to care.
say that Sending me.
Definitely had a lot more questions than I was expecting.